Now you run a business, you want someone to buy what you're selling. The traditional approach is they see it, they pay for it, they take it away, and you're lucky if you see them again. But how about getting them to hand over the cash every week or every month? Subscriptions are nothing new in the world of magazines or newspapers, but other businesses are getting in on the act, selling everything from cakes to lip balm, even dishcloths. Here's Steph McGovern. The Lawley kitchen cloth has had a revamp. Swedish entrepreneur Marie Yangnius designs colourful cloths which she regularly sends out to customers who subscribe to her service. Marie, we're in your studio where you do all the design work for all these fabulously colourful dish cloths. You've sold 30,000 of them. Where did it all start? I was made redundant two years ago and saw this as my chance to do something creative. You have 200 people as well who subscribe to receive these cloths every month. Why did you pick that as your way of selling them? Well, the cloths are it's consumable, so it's very suitable for, for that way. Also, it's very light, so postage isn't too, too much to send out. And it's a great way of marketing. The absolute uh, number one bestseller is the Blue Heart. Oh, because there's a lot of people out there who like to... Send out love, I suppose. Yes, I like to think so. <laughs> Wash with love. In order for the subscription model to work, Marie needed to keep her delivery costs down. So she gets the cloths printed close to where she lives, at this family-run printing firm. So who does this subscription model work for? I think the subscription model could work for a lot of different types of businesses. I think it really needs to be quite low value items that you're going to be selling. Um, so for example, there, there could be sort of face creams, makeup, DVDs, books and things like that. I think when you go up to the higher value items, um, it becomes more difficult because if somebody's made a high value purchase, it's difficult to think of what they could then um, go on and subscribe to. So how do you set up the subscription model for your business? There are really two things that you need to bear in mind. First of all, you've got to get payment, because we're, we're going off the model that you've got a website that you've got to get people into. If we're low value, you're not going to be able to go out and sell that item. It needs to be incoming inquiries. So you need a payment provider that can sit on your website and take the money, either via a credit card or via a direct debit. So that's got to be your bank. So your existing bank that you're with at the moment, go to them and ask them what facilities they have. They'll be able to sort you out from that point of view. The only other thing that you need is to go to a web developer, maybe use your own or you could probably even do it yourself um, and then you need to stitch that payment provider's software into the back end of your website so when somebody goes on the process is entirely automatic they can just tap their details in the payment is made and you can ship your goods out and it's not just dish cloths that are going postal there's lots of other things you can get by monthly subscription too. anything from toothpaste cupcakes razors or pants anyone so if you're thinking of setting up this could be one of the ways to help you clean up in business.